The company we're going to call now, it's the company number 11. And I saw this guy already doing some business today. He's a very smart guy, very fast, and he's doing well. Cuscinelli, come here, my friend. He was in Berlin. How are you? Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? Huh? How are you? Very Good? Well, thank you. Charge now. What, what were you doing back, back on the stage? Making a perfect steak. You were doing some business that I saw, huh? Yeah. You were selling your company already? For Carrefour. For Carrefour? Yeah. That's great. Did you make the deal? We'll see. <laughs> All right. Okay, man, you have five minutes to pitch, okay? Go ahead. Three, two, one, go. Bonjour, madame, say here, messieurs. Uh, even after lunch, I want to wet your taste buds again by uh, serving this perfect uh, plate what you see up on the screen. Who of you is confident enough to make that plate for your friends at Le Web tonight? <laughs> Only a few. If I would give you a tool enabling you to do it with just the tip of your finger, who would be interested then? Oh, almost 80%. So that's more than our target group. 50% uh, of all households uh, want to cook better. Cuciniale guarantees you perfect cooking results according to your personal preferences. My name is Holger Henke, and I'm one of, one of the founders. We have developed an intelligent cooking technology, and here's how it works. What you need is an app called Gourmet Pilot, and it runs on all tablets and smartphones, Android or iOS. Your cooking device needs to be connected via Bluetooth, being a cooktop, oven, or kitchen machine. Then we implement a few sensors, and one of them, which looks like a thermometer, actually is a high-tech sensor containing six very precise sensors in the tip. The key of our technology is that we identify the key properties of all food items and adjust the power and the cooking times always optimal to the food item. No cooking process is the same, as no food looks alike and has the same properties. Here's how it works. You just select the food. Now for the steak, you select your personal preferences, the browning level from outside and the doneness level from rare to, to well done from inside. Then we let you know when the pan has reached the right uh, temperature, you insert the steak, the sensor is placed inside, then it will be fried from one side, then it uh, tells you when to flip the steak, and then you insert the sensor into the meat until the tip hits the surface. Now we identify the height, fat, water, and protein content automatically, and then we let you know when the steak is ready to serve. And that result, we guarantee you. Our aim is to implement our technology in uh, all cooking appliances. In fact, we already have developed uh, working prototypes for all four product segments, what you're going to see. With that, we want to take a share of 27 million pieces sold on cooktops every year. 10 million pieces for ovens, 50 million pieces on cooking machines, and also we can make any cookware smart with our technology. Our key ingredients are, is our expertise. My expertise lies in sales and marketing, uh, coming from Procter and Gamble and lately working as a CEO at the Rational Group, the market leader in professional kitchen equipment. Our CTO, Philip, worked on a three-star level as a chef and finished his master's degree in electrical engineering. Our expert in the intelligent uh, cooking processes is uh, Michael Greiner for nonlinear control algorithms uh, Tobias, he worked on engine controls at Bosch and Daimler. And last but not least, our CFO, he worked at uh, Gillette. He's making sure that uh, we are not only running out of budget, but also earning money. In fact, in the last three months, we were already break even. We are here to raise between 1.5 and 2 million euro in order to get in as many um, appliances as possible. We want to become the operating system for any smart appliance. In addition, we want to promote our first product, which, is, uh, which we launched on a soft scale in uh, Germany. And we want to 
uh, bring it from a four-digit number to over uh, 100,000 uh, units a year. If we get all the ingredients right, then with the investors we can enjoy this plate and somebody of you is making the meal for us. Thank you very much. Straightforward. Uh -huh. So, I know what you're laughing. You brought his check. <laughs> huh? Go ahead. Start. It was a very good presentation, uh, Olga. I do have a question. So uh, I like the uh, tagline, Operating System to Appliances. So the question I guess I have, partnerships are going to be critical to your success, and you didn't really talk about your team's ability to engage in partnerships. Can you talk a little bit about Yeah. Uh, we, we are already working with market leaders in the respective product segments. I cannot release any name because we have very tight NDAs. You will under, understand, uh, understand that one. And uh, we are working uh, on multi-sites with them uh, very in close teams. Uh, and it's a cultural thing as well. With some companies, it's easier. And with some other companies, it's more challenging. But as we are very experienced, we are, we are able to overcome this not invented here barriers. How do, you, how do you plan your operational model? You have hardware and software, and you have like a very big kind of support. It's not going to be... You know, the cooking facility is going to be in uh, high temperature and liquid and all this kind yeah. of stuff. How are you going to handle that? Uh, first of all, our business model is that we're licensing our technology and the responsible, uh, responsibility for the functionality lies with our OEM uh, client. Uh, second, uh, we have uh, developed our technology that is uh, resistant to the high temperature, to the unfavorable climate, humidity, uh, salt, and so on and so forth. As we are coming from a professional kitchen uh, tech uh, company, uh, which is uh, listed in the, in the SDAX, we know to, uh, to uh, make our technology resistant to that uh, environment. Can you explain more precisely what your device exactly does, meaning what, what is metered through the device? The, the, the key lies in the, in the software. Uh, if, if you're looking into uh, the sensors, that could be very precise and fast uh, uh, thermocouples, uh, for instance. It could be a, a hum humidity sensor. Uh, that's depending on uh, the uh, OEM customer's need. We can adapt our algorithms to different sensors. And? That's it. Basically, uh, cooking meat or cooking something yeah. else could, uh, let's say, be different depending on what you are cooking. And remember, I'm French. Yeah. So, what exactly do you meter? Um, no, if if you're looking, for instance, um, at a at a uh, entrecot, yeah, the difference between two entrecots could be larger than the difference between an entrecot and a T-bone steak, of course. And the good chef prepares them uh, differently. We identify with our algorithms all that differences automatically and adjust the power level accordingly. Now, uh, in different countries, people have different preferences, right? For instance, a French medium has a completely different meaning medium than in the United States, in Israel, or in Germany. If you load our app automatically in the background, the country-specific profile is being loaded. However, you're also able let's say, to make a risotto, like a typical Italian uh, meal, perfectly to the Italian style. Questions? I think you have a, a challenge for the distribution. What's your strategy and plan for that? Uh, getting into the dis distribution is not an issue at all. It just requires some, some more persons. The retailers love our product. They immediately understand the concept. So if you're looking at the uh, media market uh, in Germany, they love our product. In fact, next uh, Sunday, we have a live TV show on their, on their web shop uh, with our, our product. Uh, we're also getting into food retailers, kitchen specialists. The key challenge for us is to generate the sales out. For that, we need to ha have awareness uh, that the people understand our concept. And we, we further need to lower the entry barrier that they trial our product. Once they've tried our product, they will not return it. And that's a key challenge for us. You mentioned you want to, to get to an OEM kind of business model. Yeah. What kind of royalty do you imagine per unit in that kind of uh, 
the, the, um, the, the front end will look completely different. So people will not realize uh, that our technology is running underneath. But what kind of price, what kind of value can you, can you extract from uh, it? Uh, usually uh, uh, our model is uh, like a normal license model for technology. So. And that means? That means between uh, three and five percent of the uh, uh, net sales value to the, to the consumer. You, the, the other model would be if you're going the incremental value we are generating. So depending on the uh, on the product uh, we are talking, the uh, our customers thinking of upcharging uh, the product with our technology by 30 percent. Hanan? Yeah. So so how much will it make it more expensive for a pan or for you know a, a regular? Kind of uh, tray or something with uh, your technology. Uh, if if we, uh, I don't want to release that number here because I have to take into consideration our license fees, which I don't want to <laughs> release on the stage. If you understand. But have you have you checked with uh, all the eighty percent guys that uh, raised their hand here? Yeah. Will they be willing to pay more? Everyone wants to have his his meal cooked in a better way, but how much they are willing to pay for yes, that? Yes, that's, that's by our customers very thoroughly checked on the, on the global scale. They have done some very extensive testing. There's a question here from the audience. What else could we cook from Kushinale? So anything what you, what you like uh, to, to make, uh, not only meat, uh, poultry, veggies, uh, Soups and sauces, uh, uh, paella, risotto, uh, without constant steering. People who are knowing risotto, you have to constantly steer. All that what you can cook, and we make your life in the kitchen much easier. Thank you very much. Thank you, my friend. Let's see. 60% of the people like, and 6% of the people would try. That's good for you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming.